everybody. <laughs> Again. I already put all the cards out. I did a video in English and Polish just to find out that it wouldn't work. Nothing was um, <laughs> recorded. So in this situation I gotta start all over again. I'm not gonna cheat that uh, I have to take these cards down and put another one. No. Whatever was chosen, let's keep the messages. I'm just gonna do the whole thing again. And now without other actually you have the Overview to go to uh, the energy in uh, May 2015. Uh, I just said that once I get to the place, I will tell you what's the energy. I'm doing this over again. So I would say be positive, be optimistic because everybody's different. It's no such a thing that everybody will go through the same thing, but I would say it's gonna be kind of a roller coaster, okay? Anything can go on, out, off, <laughs> anything is possible, anything goes, okay? Ooh. The first week of May, the full moon in Scorpio on the third, and then 5-5, five, five, big maybe changes, transformation, fireworks, uh, Secrets coming out. Uh, yes, the rest, you know what? Enjoy May. May is such a beautiful my, uh, month. So just simply in May, anything may happen. And because of the new energy that happens so quickly, rapidly, anything, you know, can happen from nowhere. Miracles occur too. Stay positive, stay optimistic. That's the best advice I can give you, okay? Okay, for my beautiful fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, starting with Aries. The first card is um, beautiful. It says, make daily affirmations, especially in the morning. So when you wake up, start the day with being positive. Expect the best. Be optimistic. Maybe life in the last couple of years um, treated you not so well. Maybe you went through big changes and is with even lower energy. Not so easy to be so upbeat all the time, okay? So you need to start the day with the affirmations that you are grateful, happy, and you expect just that, okay? And that will come. Now, when it comes, so it, it came at the message from fairies about your son. So for every single person may mean something different. Maybe it's your son, maybe your son's uh, children, wife, some news there. Something in May that you will be surrounded with son's energy or if you don't have a son maybe somebody has a son that is um, that way close to you or maybe your cousins your daughter your has a son maybe somebody is pregnant with son maybe somebody just went through some drama with son with pregnancy etc so somewhere around that area now express your love. So if you had any problems, my dear Aries, in a romance area, be the first one to uh, say I'm sorry, be the first one to say I love you. S express your feelings. Romantic gestures, okay? Um, that's what the card says. Uh, this is a beautiful card that goes with this less beautiful. Archangel Michael says, you know, shield yourself and then is this beautiful um, dreamer card. So you have maybe some people or some person or some situation that brings you down. Shield yourself. Shield yourself from negativity, from people who whine and complain. From people who bring you down. You don't want that right now. 
In fact, this card suggests that maybe it's time, maybe, that's what the angels say, it is time to take a leap of faith. It's time to move on with your own life because maybe you were too embroiled either with son or with your partner and you kind of came to the point that you got to make affirmations to keep going and being optimistic and happy. So maybe instead of pretending in some cases, take a leap of faith, move on, follow your dream, follow your heart, be yourself. Just like that, just like Aries can, just like Aries just can. When it comes to my dear uh, Elios, you have a Midas touch right now, what a beautiful card. So if you've always been dreaming about some career, opening your own business, becoming your own boss, writing that book or publishing that book, or starting to play on an instrument, starting to sing, maybe publicly, just do it. Even if it's scary, outrageous, um, the angels say you have a Midas touch. When is the better time to, to do something uh, then, then right now, not really too many other chances. If you feel a little down, a little lower energy, a little sad, be in the nature, be around the flowers, smell the roses or lilacs, whatever the flowers uh, are where you are, where your uh, location is, because that's what will bring you healing. And maybe some of you are healers that will increase your healing abilities if you meet somebody in May my dear Leo it's a past life relationship past life karma karma may be really good like um, can be really good somebody wronged you in a past life and now comes back to make it right with you, to make you happy, to do something good for you. But if God forbid you are the one who did something wrong, then it would be less pleasant. But use your intuition, be still uh, positive, you have a Midas touch. So most likely somebody did you wrong and you should be really happy. You see him all over her, his hands so romantic such a beautiful card you deserve something good my dear leo three of war i'm the water sign and my life button number is three celebration happiness maybe it's a first communion maybe it's a baptism maybe it's a wedding maybe it's a graduation party something to celebrate something to be happy about and let's not forget it's a mother's day on may 10. So, um, stay positive. So, if you had the reasons to be a little down, a little low energy, a little uh, shook up in the last couple years, stay positive. Everything is going to be okay. Looks like uh, you're going to find real joy, happiness, and finances should be good for you, Leo. Career opportunities, really good cards. I love it. My dear Sag, you need to know what you need. Hmm? Ask for what you need and that will be delivered. If you already did ask in the past, then you kind of grace, yeah, I did. I asked many times and guess what? Nothing is happening and I'm tired of waiting. Do not say that. Uh, maybe you need to modify. Maybe you said, yeah, I want to be happy. Yeah, I want a good relationship. What exactly do you need? Because you're going to get it. But maybe that good is not according to you whatsoever. So ask exactly for what you need. Be more specific. And if something is not happening, that's what you think it is now. But it really is. That's what they say. You've been helped. Heaven knows exactly what you need. And it's, um, it's helping you behind the scenes. You don't know. 
Sometimes our timing is different than divine timing. In order to get that position in a company, first, it needs to be available, right? And somebody still didn't quit. It will. He will quit. It will happen. But not yet. But don't assume that will not happen. Okay? Be patient. If you meet somebody, or if you're just wondering, if you're in, in your relationship, how he's going, he's not calling, she's not responding, it's just not enough attraction there. I'm sorry, my dear Sag. In some of you, of course, um, relationships, it's just not enough attraction, and you may find out um, in May just that. That's okay, because your family life, on the other hand, it's wonderful, okay? Children, Mother's Day, May Day, uh, beautiful sunshine and flowers and trees and bushes, green and flowering. Fam <clears throat> oh, family life, it's going to be great. You're going to be just happy. Whatever is happening in your home, very happy family life, financial security, and finding magic in the little things in life. Ten of earth. Ten is ten. It's the best number, right? And earth, very practical, but very secure, loving, steady. And children. Children may mean you're going to be with children. You uh, may work with children. You may be surrounded with the grandchildren. It's a Mother's Day, so um, many things may happen. Uh, you may have something to do with children, but they're really in the wonderful way. If you look at this Archangel Raphael card, he's so happy, surrounded with children, so, so loving. So, remember that you are a God's child. You're all God's children. We all are. Okay? We all loved. And let's remember how it was when we were little children. We didn't have big plans, big ambitions, big careers, big homes. And we were happy. Somebody gave us a stick and a little um, sand box and we were just ecstatic. So let's remember those, uh, those times. That it doesn't take a lot to be happy. It's just the attitude. Our perception. Always somebody has something worse than, you know, more circumstances than us. And here, with the children, they should be very joyful and, and bring you a joy. But also, my dear Sag, your inner child. Just remember that when you were a little kid. Bring that up. And you're already going to be more joyful, ecstatic, happy. That's what we all want. Wish you, my dear uh, fire signs, the best month ever. It's time for a change, transformation. Let's rebuild it. Let's march on. Let's be happy. Let's have fun. Love you all. And see you in June.